good morning students today we are going to learn about the designing a learning system to design a learning system we already known the some terms well defined problem well to have a well defined problem what are the attributes we need to consider that are all we are learned and what are the some successful applications what are the well defined learning problems are there in that also what are the attributes are there how they specified already we learned about this so today we are going to learn about the designing a learning system so to design a particular learning system to get a successful application to that we need to consider the some steps in that steps these are the steps first one is the choosing the training experience second one is the choosing the target function third one is the choosing a representation for the target function fourth one is choosing a learning algorithm for approximating the target function if you completed the successful for these four steps then you will get the last one is final design with all these steps we will get the final design which is perfect of your learning system so to learn detail about first we are going for the first step what is that first step choosing the training experience so in designing a learning system first step is choosing the training experience to choose the particular training experience we need to consider once again the three attributes first attribute is whether the training experience provides the direct or indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance system this is the first attribute main step is choosing the training experience if any system if any system is there that first we are three attributes are task performance measure last one is the experience a whatever the task is there to perform that particular task perfectly with the perfect measure with the perfect measure that is if we are getting the performance or accuracy is the very good to get that we need to have the perfect experience to get that perfect experience first we need to train that one we need to train the system to train the learning system choosing that particular training experience is the important thing so in this also we said three attributes are there first attribute is which training experience provides the direct or indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance system uh, so for example we we'll last in last classes what we take the example is checkers game for that checkers game what are the three main attributes to have a well defined problem is task is when playing the checkers game and performance wager is winning the game experience is by playing self by playing itself by playing with itself that are the three attributes here to play with itself or to get the experience here we need to provides the direct and indirect feedback and what is the direct feedback and what is the indirect feedback direct feedback means whenever we are doing it immediately immediately someone is saying what is the perfect move that we can call as a for direct feedback or indirect feedback means just for example when you are playing the mobile games or playing the some games with the apps we will get the some hints to step forward to move forward we will get some time to get uh, to win that game or to move uh, to achieve that level whatever the targets are there in games some apps will provide the hints according to the hints you can go you can move forward that hints are we can call as indirect feedback for this one more example is like when you are learning the driving if trainer is beside you trainer is beside you and he is telling e step now you can start the car and you can steer your steering like this right side left side and when you are moving speed changing the gear every step if he is saying in every step that we can call as your direct feedback second one is the indirect feedback that in some driving schools they are giving the simulation activity so by sitting there only you are doing the simulation driving simulation driving simulation activity through that you will get the some instructions now 
you can change the gear you can change the speed you can steer right side you can steer left side some recorded some recorded hints are there that it will give you that we can call as indirect feedback so there are two types of feedbacks direct feedback indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance assist ultimate aim is to get the to get that performance accuracy and like checkers game means we are we need to win the game like driving means we need to drive properly in various types of roads that is our main task to drive properly in various types of roads if we are getting the direct feedback or indirect feedback we you need to take the choice if you are perfect with the trainer who is giving every time instructions if you are Uh, comfortable with that go for the direct feedback and some people like playing playing the games or driving also they will go through the theory of the books how to um, control the car or what are the controls are there in the car and by that theory only they are by that indirect feed indirect feedback they are starting that their driving that we can call indirect feedback so this is the main key attribute whether the training experience provides the direct feedback or indirect feedback regarding the choices made by the performance system so this is about the first key attribute second important attribute of the training experience is degree to which the learner controls the sequence of training second important attribute is degree to which the learner controls the sequence of training sequence of training means in that what are the sequence of steps in next steps if learner having the control that means same example we can take for this attribute also so you are learning the driving then at that time you are sitting on the driving seat and you are started the car after some after some days after the according to the guidance of the trainer you learned something and now you started the driving in usually but trainer is sitting beside you you will only start the car and you will only start the driving if something occurs some different situations comes if you are going to do the some error if you are going to do the some error if you are going to do the some mistake in driving then then the trainer will guide you the trainer will warn you don't do that go right side or go left side or change the gear like that according to the your sequence of mistakes or according to the you are going to take uh, some error then only he will warn you he will guide you this is the second attribute that means learner only controlling the sequence of training with the some guidance this is the second important attribute of the training experience is degree to which the learners controls the sequence of training and third important attribute of the training experience is how well it represents the distribution of examples over which the final system performance p must be measured so what are the decisions you are taking what are the sequence of steps you are moving in checkers game or what are the decisions you are taking while you are driving for every steps if it is giving the ultimate if it is reaching the our ultimate goal winning the game or driving properly in the various roads that is the third attribute of the training experience that means if you learn if you learn driving with the trainer with the direct feedback or indirect feedback of first step first attribute or with the second attribute while you are driving if a trainer is sitting you tried if you tried in various types of roads and various types of conditions like normal road highways hill road and some other different conditions in rains in night times like that if in different situations in different types of roads if you drive with the trainer guidance then you learned properly and you are having the distribution of training experience now within your control you can continue you know every step every decision every step at the sequence of step at every decision whatever you are choosing whatever you are deciding that is giving or reaching your ultimate goal that we can call as a third important attribute of training experience how well it represents the distribution of examples that means you are taking more different types of training experience more different types of situations to learn that 
not only the one type of sequence of situations and you learned something you took the guidance not only that for example checkers game also play yourself and playing if you are playing with yourself or playing with only the one friend or only the one sibling after some time you will learn how to win the game how to win the game with the, your friend or with your sibling only if you are playing your that game checkers game with others unknown person you won't begin you won't be win because you are having the learning experience of only the with one person or two persons limited persons if you are playing with the more persons if you are taking the more type of situations then you can reach you can go for the any person then you can try to win that is the third important attribute of the training experience so this is the first step first one is taking the direct or indirect feedbacks and train something second type of attributes learner controls the sequence of training learner controls the sequence of training with the some guidance little bit of awareness and third important attribute is learner learn in varied type of situations various types of feedbacks various types of training experiences then only you will ultimately reach your goal so this is the first step second step we are going to continue in the next class thank you very much students